Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we are going to take a look at Void, we're going to put some signature stones into him, and we are going to take him out for a spin. I just got him the second time from the arena, so he is nicely awakened. And we'll take a look here. Okay, you can see his attributes off to the left there. And going into it, a little bit of detail here. You can see his attributes, critical rating, critical damage rating, um, the penetrations, resistances, armor rating, and block proficiency. We'll switch over to percentages. Uh, now, these are the percentages and everything when he is at 550. Uh, I don't have anything earlier to compare this to, but this should allow you to compare it to other champions just to kind of get an idea of uh, where he fits. Uh, let's take a look at his synergies. Not going to read all of them. Uh, I do like that Hulk synergy. And uh, this is a 550 void. I went ahead and ranked him to 5 because I knew I was going to get him in the arena a second time. Alright, and you can see his abilities. He's incinerate immune. That intimidating presence. We'll look at that uh, in a minute here. Uh, direct damage, uh, dark sting, all of that. Let's take a look at his signature ability. Now, uh, this signature ability makes Void an offensive juggernaut. Uh, he does not need to be awakened if all you're going to do is use him on defense in Alliance War. But if you're planning to use him on offense, he's pretty decent from what I've heard. I don't have a whole lot of experience with him, but he's decent, but when he's awakened, much better, and he scales very well. So you guys can read that Fear of the Void, uh, when all Intimidating Presence debuffs are at max stacks, instead of being removed, those debuffs are converted into a passive Fear of the Void that combines their effects and grants Void, well, it grants him attack rating for 4 seconds and we're going to see how well that scales. When Fear of the Void is active, Intimidating Presence generates debuffs 10.26 faster. I'm assuming that also goes up uh, since it's in green. And Fear of the Void cannot exceed a maximum of two stacks. Alright, so you can take a look here at his passives. I'm not going to read all of those. Uh, basically, from all that I have seen, uh, his biggest thing is this intimidating presence and that fear of the void. Uh, it does a lot of damage. I've also seen him reverse healing. Uh, I have not done a whole lot of research into how he does that, uh, whether he needs any masteries. Uh, I don't know, uh, but I will find out. But before we do, let's see how well he scales. As you can see, I've got 30. Let's put 10 in right now. And I already know I'm going to pump in as many as I can. And I'm going to use some uh, generics as well. Alright, so yep, I see that his attack went up a little bit. And also the debuffs. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the rest of these into him. And the nice thing about this is that there is an item use event going on for the Alliance. And there's a science advancement going on as well. So this was the perfect time to do this. Alright, and let's see... We'll go ahead and pump the rest of these into him as well. And from all that I've heard, he benefits greatly from any Sig Stones that you can put into him. So, wow. Look at the attack rating now. That is huge. And look at the debuffs. Um, how much faster he will generate debuffs now. 
So yeah, any six stones that I get, science, is going straight to him until he is 99. I don't know what the problems with the network is, but let's take a look and play around with him, see his animations, see what his damage looks like. Uh, from what I understand, spamming the L1 is the way to go with him. So let's check him out. All right, you see the team that I've chosen. Uh, lots of synergies here. Take a look at Void Synergies. And I have all of them active. Okay. Don't need them all, but I have them all in there just because. Alright. So let's go ahead and step on in here. Alright, so I have Suicides running, and he also has a class disadvantage against Winter Soldier, but good enough for us to at least take a look at him. Okay, first we'll fire off his L1. Build up to his L2 so you guys can see that. Definitely going to need to practice with this guy. Alright, and finally we'll do an L3 while we're waiting. Ah, tried to do a heavy, is what happened. And it just did not want to do it. Okay, there we go. See how I, I charged it? You see that fury? That's uh, one of the synergies. Alright. Look at that damage just ticking away. Not bad for a four star. Not bad at all. All right, so let's just start spamming that. Uh, oh, got the fear of the void up. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on spamming that L1 until I can't anymore. There's some respectable damage that I'm seeing here. I said I am using suicide, so that's going to uh, skew his damage a little bit, but still, not bad. Not bad at all. I would definitely love to have this guy as a five star. Okay. Not sure what happened. I think I must have let up off the block. Okay. Hmm. I can see that this would uh, be a, a little lengthy fight, but without suicides. be a pretty lengthy fight. Okay, we'll do one more L3 and then we'll end this. Okay, that was not bad at all. Definitely not bad. I'm just going until he eventually kills me. Or my suicides do. That was a nice crit. <laughs> 2%. If I fire it off now, he's dead.
Yeah, I'm just playing to see how long I can last. At 2%. Suicides are about to kill me. <laughs> Lasted pretty long though. Yeah. As soon as he fires off his uh, L2, it's over with. There we go. Okay, not bad. That was that was not bad at all. All right, so before we go to the duels, I wanted to uh, take him into Act 5, and I took the Vitality Path, and you saw the uh, Vigor, and you saw what that does, so it's going to give them a lot of healing. One of Void's main selling points and why people take him into Alliance War uh, to take on uh, nodes that have like a lot of healing is because not only can he stop the healing, but he can actually reverse it. So you didn't get a chance to see that when we were fighting Winter Soldier. Uh, so you'll be able to see that now. So just keep watching uh, after he gets the Fear of the Void up, what happens every time a regen procs. Now, I'm running suicides and Void does not play well with suicides. I take a lot of recoil damage because you wanna spam that L1. So I look forward to fighting him, uh, fighting with him when I don't have suicides on. All right, so look at this damage that Green Goblin is taking. Did you see he's regenning and look at the damage. It went up when he's regenning. He just regened a little bit more. He's taking like 270. Now he has Fear of the Void up. So let's see when he gets that regen again, what happens. Okay, there's the regen. Look at that damage now. You remember it was like 270 before? Now it's over 400, or it was over 400 as long as that uh, regen lasted because he's taking that regen in damage. It's nuts. That is why Void is just a beast. Yes, Guillotine also can do heal reversal, uh, and she was also a beast, but. Void, I guess, is the new meta. Alright, so that's that fight. And you're going to see him do that same thing for the next series of fights. Uh, the last fight that I did on the Vitality Path is Angela. And after that, it's just going to be a series of duels. Now, take a look in the comments. I'm going to pin a comment and I'm going to index all of the fights so that you don't have to sit through this entire video. It's about 25 minutes uh, long. So you can zoom in on just the fights that you are interested in seeing. All right, so enjoy the rest of the fights and hopefully you find this entertaining.
Coming to the end of the video, uh, we only have this fight and one other. Uh, I wanted to go up against Mephisto, of course, because Void is incinerate immune, so I wanted to just kind of showcase that. Uh, and of course, we're going to finish off with Sabretooth, who has some healing on him, and of course, Void can negate and reverse that, but he's not just about that he also has other debuffs you guys can look back in the beginning of the video and take a look at the different debuffs that he randomly places on his opponents all right so that's going to do it guys if you enjoyed the video please consider smashing that like button if you haven't subscribed already please consider giving me a subscription leave a comment below let me know what you thought about this video if you'd like to support the channel there's a link in my description to my patreon account and you can become a patron of this channel and you guys have a blessed day.